useless as we already cover biology and we already studied that what is science and recently we studied what is biology and where the town comes from and how the life begins on earth and what is the basic difference of your living and non living things and most specifically a important feature that uh, who is the father of biology and uh, his some books uh, where he wrote 500 different types of species and its elements. So all these things we already covered in our previous class. So today we are going to study about botany. So if we talk about botany, it is specially the study of plant science. So the plants in which we are going to study about various types of plant and plant aspects is always known as your botany. And if we talk about the word botany, it is also come from a Greek word which is your botma. From botma, the word botany is comes from and botany is other name. That means the other name of botany is your phytology. That means the other name is your phytology. That means it is also called phytology. If you try to split the term phytology, It is divided into two. One is your phytos, means your plant, and as is your logos, means your story. So here is also study of plant is always known as your body. Nextly, who is your father of body? Nextly, Theophrastus is the father of what me. In our previous class, I told you that Aristotle is the father of biology. Here, Theophrastus is the father of botany. And if we talk about the features of Theophrastus, Theophrastus is student of Aristotle. That means he is student of Aristotle. And Aristotle wrote a book named Historia Animalia. In previous class, I told you that about Aristotle, and here Theophrastus Theophrastus wrote a book named Historia Plantarum. You just remember it. History of Planter, R-U-M. And here he wrote about 500 species of plants and its medicinal value. He just wrote about 500 different different plants and its medicinal value over a book named History of Latin. And the writer is with Theophrastus. He is a student of Aristotle, who is the father of biology. So there it is just a story of a student or and a teacher. That means it is just a combination of teacher and student. Teacher wrote a book about animals and student wrote a book about Plants. So that is this is all about your botany. Next thing, which is the special features? That means how we are going to catch about various aspects of your botany. If we uh, talk about botany, here we are going to study about the number of plants. Here we are going to study about seedling. Here we are going to study about the number of aspects of plants. That means in the same way, in zoology we are going to study about uh, about a human being. Its reproduction, a, about number of bones, about number of organ, organs, which it consists of a number of uh, functions of the, these organs. In the same way, in botany, we are going to study about flower, we are going to study about fruit, we are going to study about seed, we are going to study about the uh, transportation of water, the transportation of minerals, and all these things. In the same way, your animals, in animals we are going to study about cell, here also we are going to study about cell. 
in the animals we are going to study about various types of classification, various types of kingdoms also. In the same way, in botany also we are going to study about a number of kingdoms, a number of classifications. So, it is quite interesting to study different. In botany, we are going to study about plants and its metabolic activities, its reproduction structures, various aspects like your seedling, that means development of a seed, development of a plant. That means if we talk about a total structure, if we talk about a plant, total plant from the seedling, that means from the seedling how the plant grew, that means how the total plant is grow from a baby seed to a big one. The total process is consists of a number of uh, teeny teeny subjects, that means a number of part patterns are there, that means your totally botany subject of your 11th is consists of a number of sub subtopics, which consists of uh, a number of subjects, subtopics like your uh, flower, like fruit, like your leaf, how the photosynthesis takes place, your respiration, a number of cycles like your nitrogen cycle and your oxygen cycle, your number of uh, functions of your nutrition, how the nutrition are transformed from the plants, how the transport, uh, transportation of uh, your roots to the sewer system, that means how the root system works, how the sewer system works, a number of features of your external body structure, all these things. So, in this way, your total topic is consistent. If we talk about the total topic of your botany, then it consists of a number of subtopics and your every subtopic consists of a number of names which are consist of a number of branches over here. So, in our next class, we are going to study about the branches first. That means, that means which branch is known as part. That means which branch is consist of which part. That means if we talk about a plant's external feature, then the name of the external feature is known as this. If a question has to do. That, that means the branches. So our very next class we are going to study about various types of branches of botany. And lastly we are going to study about some extra branches, extra branches which are included to this topic also. Nextly we start firstly the topics of the total 11 botany. And nextly we are going to study about step by step every topic. So, hope this total session of introduction to botany is helpful to all of you. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you.